Welcome everyone. Today is Wednesday, so that means we're live here at Old Town Quilt Shop and we'll be showing you our new fabric and upcoming classes. But before we get into that, if you need to, um, if you can't come and see us, then you can go online and order anytime, 724. So we have a website that you can order from. You can also email us or give us a call during our shop hours. And we are located here on the central coast of California. And this is our physical address. And these are our hours. So on Mondays, we are open from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Tuesday through Friday, we are open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And on Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And we are closed on Sunday. So that's, uh, that's a little bit about our shop. So let's get into what has come in this week that we can show you. And first, from Quilting Treasures, we have Autumn Spice. So this is a fall, obviously, <laughs> fabric. And we have turkeys. So, and they are um, scattered, so they're not, um, uh, you know, it's easier to work with, so they're not linear or you don't have to have that fabric one way or the other. So they are on a, you know, kind of a creamy um, mottled background. And you've got the little fall flowers and the little turkeys are kind of sitting in a bed of flowers. <laughs> so, um, and then we have the fall leaves. So this is, you know, the gold um, and darker, or the browns and the golds. So, <laughs> oh, so it's on the camera, it's looking more yellow. It's a little more orangey than that. And then you have the um, Turkey, so those those go together, and that's called Autumn Spice from QT Fabrics. From QT, we also have some um, fat quarter bundles, and this one is called Treasured. So this is um, we actually don't know what these are in here. So they're, um, but you can tell by by the colors, it's more of a um, it's a little more masculine looking. Color-wise, I don't know what the prints are off the top of my head. So some are flowers, some are textures. Yeah, some are. I think there are some flowers, but there's a lot of textures in there as well. So anyway, this is um, treasured from uh, QT Fabrics. And then from Andover, we have plain and simple. So these are um, more more like a background fabric. So you have a white on white, and actually it's a white with kind of gray, actually, you know, almost silver. Um, but it's got these little kind of like star flowers on there. So this would be a, this is a great background. And another great background, it's a little more um, beigey, you know, tan, uh, you know, a little, it's not really white. It's, you know, darker than that. And um, these are, again, little flowers and they're scattered around, so just a great background. And then we have kind of a pinky, a peachy color um, with flowers, and they are, um, it is, well, they do go either way. <laughs> Actually, I, I, to me, it wouldn't matter which way you had it, but then it's got the white dots on, on the background because we can't go a week without dots. I mean, come on. So this has a peach background and then the, the flowers are a little darker. So it's just a little um, trio of flowers there. So you got these two backgrounds and then the other, depending on what you're doing, this could also be a background. But this is called um, Plain and Simple from Andover Fabrics. And then from QT Fabrics, we have Surge. And we have had, um, no, we've ha not had any of these. I thought we had some. Um, cuts but anyway serge so this um, you know again is a, a great background uh, you know just to give you a little better picture of it here we'll fold it out so it's got you know several colors going on in there you've got the the blues and the greens and you know the, you know the darker and lighter of each of them almost into kind of a, a light you know purple and we've got little dots in there <laughs> so it kind of looks this one almost looks water-like, um, you know, has, has kind of that feel. And then the, we have the purple one, or lavender, you know, and it's got, you know, again, the, the darker variations. So it's almost, 
you know, so um, they're almost, you know, kind of batik-like in that they have a lot going on in them. So this is called Surge, and it's from QT Fabrics. And then from Andover, we also have mini hearts. So we have the mini hearts on a white background, and it's not a, a, a clear, um, strong white. It's more of a kind of an off-white. Um, and so you got the little tiny hearts, and then you have them on the red background with the little tiny white hearts. So these two are, you know, mirror images of each other, or, you know, and uh, mini hearts from Andover Fabrics. Now this um, panel is from uh, <laughs> Riley Blake. <laughs> okay, so we have the panel, and what it does is it makes this little pouch. So it's everything, you know, it's all the fabrics that you need in order to make the pouch. So here is the inside of the pouch. So this is the inside, this is the outside, and then these little parts here, um, we, we just cut out of, <laughs> out of the instructions here <laughs> for that part. But this is the, I'm going to hold up the panel. So this is the panel. The panel comes with the instructions on it. You've got the, the pouch um, layout there. And then it also has a couple of little, um, it's got four um, quilt labels and then a couple of other little um, uh, squares, actually rectangles there, that we're thinking maybe you could make a um, oh, project bag out of. So those would be cute. So this is, when they're all cut out, this is what it, you know, this is what it looks like. So you could make whatever you choose out of these. But um, and then you've got little quilt labels that, which are very nice quilt labels. So. That's what comes on the panel, and the panel is $10. $10. Okay, so it makes this, like I said, it makes this pouch. You do have to, um, you do need a zipper, and it requires fusible fleece for the inside. So a zipper and fusible fleece, and a zipper foot on your, <laughs> on your machine, and you're good to go. Okay, so, and it doesn't, it's, it's a very simple little pouch, easy to put together. Um, doesn't take very long. Okay, so that's what came in new. Now the upcoming classes, we have a number of them, <laughs> and they're all um, <laughs> non-quilt. <laughs> they're not a, a big quilt thing. So one, the first one upcoming is double uh, zip gear bag, and there's still room in that. So this one, um, is $60 and then you need to buy the pattern and the supplies. It's a two-day class from 10 to 4 each day. It's a Saturday and Sunday, October 19th and 20th. So these are the, um, this is the double zip gear bag and this one is the medium. So it obviously has the double zip, has pockets inside and pockets on the outside. Okay, and you can, you know, you can put mesh or you can put fabric, whatever you want, as your pockets on the outside and also on the inside. You know, the, it um, shows mesh, but you could do whatever you wanted. And you've got handles on the end. So that's the medium and this is the large. So, you know, again, it's the same. Lots of room, opens really wide, gives you lots of room. So you use the um, Soft and Stable from Biani and all the other all the other supplies and we also have little <laughs> you can put little handmade tags on them so that uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> what, whatever okay and then we also have a sneaker making class coming up so that's in November 16th and 17th we've had one of these and it was highly successful and there were requests for another one so um, it's again a two-day class on a Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 4 and it's $40, and then you need to buy a sneaker kit and a booklet if you don't um, already have one. So the sneaker kit is the this bottom portion of it and I guess the, the thread and stuff to, to put it all together. But this is what you end up doing is you, <laughs> you 
you make a quilted pair of sneakers. Really cute and you know a lot of people have liked those so we're having another class and you would have the opportunity to make one of these yourself. And you'll see some, yeah, at the quilt show, which we'll talk about in just a minute. And then the third class we have coming up is on a Monday, Monday, November 18th from 10 to 4. It's $30 plus the supplies. And it's another Biani bag um, it's called Drop Zone. This one is the medium. It comes in three sizes. So it's kind of, let me just show it <laughs> this way first. Because <laughs> I thought, okay, it's a little odd. Why does anybody want something like this? <laughs> However, when you open it all up, it sits flat and opens wide. So it's really, it's, yeah, it holds your clips. I mean, you know, you can hold all kinds of little sewing things in here and then you zip it up and the little, <laughs> and people will wonder, what in, what in the world are you doing with that thing? But, <laughs> but they really do make a cute little bag. So that one is called Drop Zone and that's on Monday, November 18th. Okay, so all of those are on our website. So the last thing we want to go over is that um, on Saturday and Sunday this weekend, this Saturday and Sunday is the uh, quilt show um, put on by the two quilt guilds here in Santa Maria, the All-American City Quilt, Gilder, quilt Guild, <laughs> Quilt Guilders. <laughs> oh dear, now I'm going to... Now I'm going to be, <laughs> be in trouble here. And then the Santa Maria Valley Quilt Guild. Okay, so it's the it's here in our classroom. So, you know, the the um, quilt shop is in the front and the classroom is in the back. We have parking and it's all free. So it is a, di uh, a display of quilts done by members in those two quilt guilds. And there will also be bags being shown and, and sneakers from the from the previous class. So lots of things, you know, they I think they have some raffles there as well. So lots of things going on so that's this saturday and sunday here at the at the quilt shop in in our classroom so and the hours are 10 to 4 both days okay i think we've covered everything any questions out there all righty then we will see you next week